right, everyone. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. It's freezing out here again. Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme donuts. So it is thrift day. Uh, this actually getting recorded on Monday. I think I'm posting this video on a Wednesday. This is the first time I've ever been to a Scran on a Monday. Four customers inside. Let's see how many we got. Three, so that makes me four. Small um It has been a while since I came over here to look at these toys that they have lined up. They do have tons and tons of bicycles. Look at all these things. This is kind of insane. Wow. Oh, got yourself a grill. Holy televisions. Wow. It's a lot of TVs. And I think they usually have a scrap pile over here in the corner. This is just like bananas. They usually have a scrap pile right there in the corner, but they don't today. You can't see in there, but it's literally a mountain. It's a mountain of clothes. Oh, we have a salsa here on the camera, too. Alright, first impressions of coming here on a Monday as opposed to a typical like sale day is they have like nothing on the shelves. I can't remember if this store had nothing on the shelves, but for the brick rack area, there's like literally nothing. What does that say? Oh, Sports 30. Oh, that's for carrying uh, Gatorade bottles. Um, I did find one sweatshirt though that I will take. Uh, there is one tag that's on sale, so I think it's this one. It's a nice Amazon uh, apparel. They probably get this when you do, uh, if you work at Amazon, I'm pretty sure you get, I think it's like merch or bonus merch or something where if you do a certain amount of hours, you get eligible to get this stuff for free. Uh, but this kind of stuff, Amazon definitely sells well. I've sold a bunch of sweatshirts in the past for Amazon. Um, and I think if you're looking for an investment opportunity, maybe in 10, 20 years, this will be worth a lot more money, but it's a good buy. So I'm gonna grab that. Anything Amazon seems to sell very well. So we're going to grab this. It's kind of crazy to see uh, Laguana. Laguana, Laguna. It's kind of crazy to see uh, bathing suits now, but I say in about a month, you're going to start having that kind of stuff pop up. Five bucks. A lot of people like my other figurine bag unboxing video i mean it didn't get a lot of views but a lot of people seem to enjoy it so maybe we'll do that again all right at the second thrift store i gotta say whatever day this, so today is monday i think i've said it a couple times today is monday um probably the worst day to shop at a thrift store i mean usually the bottom row here is just packed with stuff that's completely empty this is a toy section they have one bag of toys, so uh, it seems like I think they're closed on Sundays and they don't restock. These were put out five days ago, 2010. I'm a sucker for blaster packs of anything. Nothing down there. This is all empty. I can't imagine there's no one working today, but maybe that's the case. become more of a sucker for lens so if I ever see a new rack out get a little fired up
these are a flashback and a half holy moly look at the striping the piping everything and everything Bryce Harper, two dollars. It's a uh, it's a promo jersey. Whatever this brand is, always makes promo jerseys. It's like a fifteen twenty dollar jersey. This is like a minor league. This is I think Hagerstown, Hagerstown, Maryland. They always have this like advertisement on it. Uh, but I'm gonna get this because I'm gonna hold on to it for probably three months, and then I'm gonna sell probably for twenty five dollars. So for two bucks. You find a couple of those, you'll turn eight dollars, ten dollars into a hundred dollars real quickly. Well, that's pretty cool. I think that's uh, see, this is the hard part with these schools. See, that's New Jersey, ladies. I was going to say this is maybe Louisiana Tech, and it's an older one, but if this thing says New Jersey on the tag. I doubt Louisiana Tech would be purchasing their jerseys from uh, New Jersey. So it could just be any technical school. Still kind of cool if you like the vintage stuff. But get yourself a jersey. Alright, let's take a gander at this piece. That's actually a nice bench. It's almost like a doll bench. Is this like a CD rack? Hand carved CD rack. $40. If I was a big CD guy, man, I would love this. This thing is sweet. Look at that thing. That looks awesome. It's cracked at the top, but what are you going to do? Good personal piece. I'm just not a big CD guy. I guess you can also put, I would say, DVDs, but not really. And in reality, you really can't fit that many CDs here. We got, like... 12 on this, 14 there, so you got like 40 CDs. But rather have one of these than one of these. All right, so I'm at the last thrift store. Uh, kind of surprising, not even one basketball. Just got some kickballs. Got one uh, minor league baseball as well. It's only a dollar. Back in my heyday, I would definitely pick this up for a dollar, but it's not really worth more than a dollar. I think, like, if you sell maybe 12 or so, you might get, like, 60 bucks on eBay. Maybe 15 of them, 60 bucks. Um, but I don't, don't really collect them. I think that's why I wrap it up here for thrifting. I have to get back and do a scrapyard run because it's supposed to snow tomorrow, and that's why I'm filming this on Monday. Usually, I'd come up here on a Wednesday, um, but it's supposed to snow on Tuesday, and I didn't know if it'd carry over into Wednesday. But I do have to get to the scrapyard and drop off all that mail for yesterday because if it doesn't snow tomorrow, I do trash pick in the morning. So. Very, very busy day. Uh, I am here with family and they want to go thrifting, so that's why we did this whole endeavor. Uh, this also, this store really stocked up on stuff, so one store out of three. This is a little bare, but most of it's pretty stocked. Okay, so I didn't make it back home. Um, when I head to the scrapyard, my neighbors say they didn't want these. Um, we said they were too bulky, also. They are kind of bulky. Can't take them apart, and the reason why, well, you can't really take them apart for aluminum is because this uh, these bolts in here are iron, but there's actually an iron plate inside this aluminum piece, so by the time you, you can see that, sticks like that. By the time you take this stuff apart, it's, you're going to be in there for 30 minutes a chair, 20 minutes a chair, and it will not be really worth your time. Um, I'm going to try to, uh, I'm, well, I'm going to go to a scrapyard, and then whatever is in here, that's iron. I'll probably just throw out there. I see some copper as well. I'll just end up throwing up out there. I'm going to take these out once I get out all this when, when I'm there. Um, so we're going to head to the scrapper. I do have some more to have to throw on there. Including this motor. 
So I'll grab some gloves. Um, yeah. So scrap price actually has gone down since the last day. It's now one of those things where it seems to be dropping every five days. So it was up there for a while. It was at record highs. And now it's just falling down more towards the uh, more towards the average, I would say, of scrap prices. Whole mixture of stuff in here. I guess I'll take this bin. Uh, for non-ferrous metals, I guess I'll just take what I have that's in the van. I think I do have I do have like a small motor that's in one of these. There it is. I knew it was somewhere, so that's, I'll take that. This honestly might not weigh a pound, but I like to take things that, if it, if it doesn't weigh a lot, so something like this, I like to, to uh, like to take it with something else that does weigh a lot, because otherwise I'm gonna just have that forever. And I'm never going to get a pound for it. Or I'm never going to get paid for it. Alright, so I think I'm going to head over to the post office first. The place where I found that hose wrapper upper just had a couple things out just now. But I was kind of was kind of zooming down the road. I wasn't really going that fast, but I didn't want to slam on the brakes with all the metal in the back. And I know I have a couple buckets and bins. And the last thing I want to happen is have those bins of nails and stuff go flying all around the back uh, which actually brings me to a good point is that my friend Larry <laughs> he was at an auction there's another guy at the auction who likes to scrap but he drives a car and he's good friends with Larry now like they kind of got along and <laughs> he made Larry come back with his trailer to pick up scrap metal at this auction it was actually that farm auction some of you guys might remember I found I bought a bunch of boxes bought some contents uh, inside a garage but there's lots of bolts and screws and nails. And Larry was like, I am not hauling around bolts and screws and nails in a coffee can in the back of my trailer because when we hit a bump, those screws are going everywhere. All over the road, all over the back of my trailer. I'm gonna have a flat tire on my trailer. Scrapyards don't want it. So it's kind of important to make sure you keep all your screws in one basket. Also, stepping on a screw would not be fun. I stopped over here at the post office. It's been three days since I've been here, so... Just want to make sure, because... I hate having a bunch of letters, a bunch of packages, and then them having to hold it, and then taking up a bunch of space. Well, he might not even have anything. letter from Daleville, Alabama. Hey, singer. This one says postage due. Hmm. Alrighty, feels like we got a license plate here. Um, as well as a letter. So that will be for the next mail day. We have to run to uh, the scrapyard. Alright, over here in the light iron pile. What is that possibly? That looks like a whole mattress. That's interesting. Where that green stuff is? No idea. Seems like, seems like it also is the uh, the day of washing machines, dryers, microwaves, ACs. Oh, they're all uh, they're all returns. That's what those are. It's a lot of metal. If uh, scrap price is dropping again, this pile is going to keep getting bigger. When I was at nine dollars a hundred, pile was literally probably two pickup trucks worth. So. All 
right, so I left the scrap yard. Decided to come over here and grab this. It's just a chair, it looks like, and maybe a cane. Trash picking never ends. I don't know what those are. So there's some sort of container. Uh, 43 bucks at the scrap yard. And they got about $14 for all those chairs, which, in the scheme of things, maybe online or maybe on Facebook Marketplace, 30 bucks. I think there was only three. Maybe there was four. I can't remember why. I was putting them in uh, the cart. I was like, wow, this. So I just recorded a couple more clips and I think they didn't actually save. So I uh, stopped by that that one house that I drove by that had the hose wrapper um, from yesterday's video. And I picked up some, what I picked up? I picked up a cane and a, a shower chair, but my GoPro is having lots of issues and I'm already getting frustrated because this happened last year. And I ended up getting a GoPro 9 and it sucked. So I thought maybe I'll get the GoPro 8, but the GoPro 8 is just so expensive when you can buy a GoPro 9 for a little bit more, but the GoPro 9 doesn't work right. So it's just like, Maybe I'll just wait until GoPro 10, but technology, technology, technology. We are throwing up yet another plate up here on the wall. So usually I do one plate a week. I think, uh, I think we're throwing up one more plate as well. I will go ahead and throw up this Wyoming plate. It's a brown plate, so it's a solid plate. It's going to go in that corner. I still have a couple yellows here. So I guess the brown will probably be good here. Um, and I'll throw one of the yellows down that corner over there. Um, but I might throw one more plate later this week. Depends on what we do. This week is going to be bananas. we got snow coming in. i got storage auctions I have to go to, but there's only like two or three units, so I can't really film a storage auction video. But if I buy a unit, I'm going to definitely do a, a clean-out video. So who knows what's going to happen. It's not really working out the way that usually it does happen. So we're going to just make it work. Sucks about this part. These arrows also have not moved. They're still over there. But I'm going to throw up. Throw up. I'm going to put this plate up there. For a second, I didn't think it had these little holes in there, but it does. This is University of Wyoming. This is the only college plate that I have. The only university plate that I have, and I have this massive hammer showing here. Oh, this. How am I going to get up there? This is probably not OSHA approved. Probably not OSHA approved. I also feel like I'm yelling, but when I edit these videos, I can never ever hear myself speaking when I talk from this far away. So yes, I am yelling and I apologize if it feels like I'm yelling. This was not well thought out of. That looks good up there. smaller ladder for that part oh yeah that looks good uh so yeah license plate wall is almost complete i did get one more plate in the mail appears like that came from new mexico i don't know if it's a new mexico plate right now it seems like we're down to one more plate that we need um because i got like four or five wyoming plates but three of them i think are somewhat duplicates so i'm going to end up throwing two of the wyoming plates well i just threw up one uh in the last remaining eight spots there's eight more spots, I think. Yeah. Four, four. Yeah. So we have eight more spots to go, and I think I have seven plates there. So, uh, yeah, very, very cool. Almost done. I think we'll be finished before flea market season. That's for certain. But all over the place today. Hopefully tomorrow I grab a storage unit. Hopefully also tomorrow it doesn't snow enough so I can do a trash picking video. In some cases, I might just do a trash picking storage auction daily vlog video. We'll see with whatever happens with that. But, uh Always a blast to do multiple things today. It's been a very, very long day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this adventure. Thank you for coming along with me for another adventure. And uh, 
We'll catch you guys tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.